This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Spirit of Liberty. In my studies through the years, I have tried to connect real life, history, the scriptures, the lessons I've learned from Christ all together and try to understand more about life and what we're to be about. There's a gentleman called Judge Billings Leonard Hand, went by Leonard Hand, Judge Hand, was born in 1872, died in 1961 at the age of 89. He is quoted more often by legal scholars and the Supreme Court than any other lower court judge through the years. He's particularly noted outside of the realm of the law for a speech that he gave in 1944 in Central Park, New York. In this particular speech, the country was, of course, looking at this world war, and he was also one that tried to help people understand more about the law and how the law could succeed, and it involved a spirit within us, a spirit of liberty. I'll not try to explain it, but just share it today and let you allow it to settle into your heart and mind and soul and spirit. It was presented in 1944 during the I Am an American Day. Judge Hand. We have gathered here to affirm a faith, a faith in a common purpose, a common conviction, a common devotion. Some of us have chosen America as the land of our adoption. The rest have come from those who did the same. For this reason, we have some right to consider ourselves a picked group, a group of those who had the courage to break from the past and brave the dangers and the loneliness of a strange land. What was the object that nerved us are those who went before us to this choice. We sought liberty, freedom from oppression, freedom from want, freedom to be ourselves. This then we sought, this we now believe that we are by way of winning. What do we mean when we say that, first of all, we seek liberty? I often wonder whether we do not rest our hopes too much upon constitutions, upon laws, and upon courts. These are false hopes. Believe me, these are false hopes. Liberty lies in the hearts of men and women. When it dies there, no constitution, no law, no court can save it. No constitution, no law, no court can even do much to help it. While it lies there, it needs no constitution, no law, no court to save it. And what is this liberty which must lie in the hearts of men and women? It is not the ruthless, unbridled will. It is not freedom to do as one likes. That is the denial of liberty and leads straight to its overthrow. A society in which men recognize no check upon their freedom soon becomes a society where freedom is the possession of only a savage few, as we have learned in our, to our sorrow. What then is the spirit of liberty? I cannot define it. I can only tell you my own faith. The spirit of liberty is the spirit 
which is not too sure that it is right. The spirit of liberty is the spirit which seeks to understand the minds of other men and women. The spirit of liberty is the spirit which weighs their interests alongside its own without bias. The spirit of liberty remembers that not even a sparrow falls to the earth unheeded. The spirit of liberty is the spirit of him who near 2,000 years ago taught mankind that lesson it has never learned but has never quite forgotten that there may be a kingdom where the least shall be heard and considered side by side with the greatest. And now in that spirit, that spirit of an American which has never been and which may never be, nay, which never will be except as the conscience and courage of Americans created. Yet in the spirit of America, which lies hidden in some form in the aspirations of us all, in the spirit of that America for which our young men are at this moment fighting and dying, in that spirit of liberty and of America, so prosperous and safe and contented, we shall have failed to grasp its meaning and shall have been truant to its promise, except as we strive to make it a signal, a beacon, a standard to which the best hopes of mankind will ever turn. And so today, I, as Daily Dose of Daryl, present you with those words from Judge Hand back in 1944. And even though it makes this longer than the promised six minutes or so that I normally keep it to, I think our times call for us to rekindle and rethink that spirit that came to us from nearly 2,000 years ago when that fleshly revelation of God's Spirit came to us and reached out to all people and said, all people are my children. All people must be considered from the lowest to the highest as equals. And if we don't keep that Spirit in our hearts, no constitution, no law, no trickery, no manipulation will work to make America the great country that it was founded to be. This is Daily Dose of Daryl encouraging all my followers to reach out and learn to understand others without threat, without judgment, without malice, without vindication or retribution, but simply come together as all people created by the same Creator. God bless you, and please pass those blessings of your Spirit along to others. May we check the Spirit in ourselves today.